Well, first of all, about the drug uh, test that I mentioned, it was a suggestion. Yes. Because it's not the law. It's not the law, no. It's, it's, it's the suggestion that uh, office seekers, public office seekers, or public appointees by government at all levels, from mm. the councillor all the way to the top, ought to be tested and cleared negative before they are passed to run or given uh, appointment. Because the positions of public offices are positions of public trust. And there are lots of public funds involved. And you give an addict a position, he's going to blow the money on cocaine. Yeah. Uh, to start with. It's Not to mention the position of his brain, in, in mm. judgmentally, in, in taking yes. the right decisions to run the office. So we did put that out. Mm. And it's not completely out of the air that we plucked it. It's happening in some places. For instance, in Kano State, no one gets appointed into any position in Kano State, including the traditional institution. I see. Without being declared drug... Free. Yes, drug negative. To clear for those who are listening, if you are caught smoking cannabis in public or in private... You are committing an offense. It's a crime in Nigeria. Okay. It's in our act, and we deal with anyone that we catch with cannabis. You don't even need to be smoking it. Once you are in possession of it, that's a crime, and you'll face the music. But as I said, we also have a standard operating procedure where after we make the arrests, we determine the appropriate action that we mm. must take. Mm. We have gone out um, to destroy cannabis plantations. In the last two <laughs> years, we've destroyed, I believe, about 784 hectares. Because wow. we have to go back to the forests. Last week alone, we were able to destroy 317 tons in the warehouses deep, deep in Edo State uh, jungles. So cannabis is bad. Nobody should be under any illusion that it is something. Because I've heard there were some times um, some people were trying to legalize it in Nigeria. Yeah. It won't happen. Certainly not uh, while I'm in the NDLA. NDLA. Because why would you take a knife and stab yourself with it? You, you already know this is a drug, a full class A drug that affects the brain. It damages the brain. The World Health Organization itself accepts that. All the psychiatrists, uh, associations accept that. This is something that affects behavior. You get crazy after a while in the society. We all know. Mm. Igbo. We can't have it. Nigeria must never be a cannabis uh, uh, country. Some people, indeed some countries have, um, would I say out of frustration, decided that, okay, look, as far as usage is concerned, uh, rather than criminalize it, why don't you manage it, uh, legalize it up to a point and manage it? I, I wonder what you think of that. The, the, would that be some good tactics to deploy in a country like ours? It depends on the countries. Um, as I said, we have an SOP in which we determine what to do after the arrest, having determined if the person arrested is a user or not. Okay. Um, but we have to be very careful. Circumstances are different. Some of these countries in the West that have legalized it. There are so many uh, social systems that support people. So the, the, when they use drugs there, it is not exactly because of wanton poverty, like mm. in our own case. So we can't do exactly what they are doing there. there. And so if in Nigeria, for instance, you say, Completely, it is decriminalized. I just mentioned four million, the entire Yes, yes. You can be sure in 60 days that number will triple to 12 million. Because once you know it's decriminalized, it's not an offense. I can do marijuana 
anyhow, mm. they will go for it because of the prevailing circumstance of poverty and so on. So you now have a 4 million prevalence still with the fear of being arrested. So you are taking it you, with that fear yes. that there, there, there could be a sanction on you if you are arrested. So if we were to say no sanctions, go ahead, it's not a criminal activity, so it won't work in Nigeria. We would think that there are some places that are easily identifiable as hotspots for drug, for narcotics that continue to exist in areas like Ujuno, Mushin, you know, almost the same buildings. I wonder why you haven't um, tried to cross them completely, you know, cross them completely and take them out. Thank you very much. Yeah. It's a very important time. Uh, let me tell you now, yes. and I'm happy Nigerians are listening. Yes. I have all the dr drug joints in the country. Look you know where they are. I know where they are. We know where they are. However, when you implement policy, you have to be careful also of what is it that you can achieve. That is why we are increasing the strength. Of the because you need men on, wow. the, uh, on the ground to be able to do certain things. You, you have to have the manpower. They have to be equipped to carry out the tasks. And so we've put under 5,000 men in uniform last year, another 5,000 coming. So this hmm. will be dispersed down to the grassroots to be able to have greater impact. Impact. And they go after some of these. That said, that said, we are paying greater attention at the barons, the people yes. that are on top of the cartels. Yes. Because those people in the joints, they receive, they have a line of supply, they have a chain. And so when you hit the baron himself, that disrupts that and eventually when they don't have anything coming they fizzle out mm -hmm. so um i use this uh, opportunity to sound a very serious warning that we know where all of you are all of the all yes, the places we know and we are going to get to them so we appeal instead of waiting for us to to seize arrest and send to jail just quit the profession and look for something else that said we have in the last two years been able to arrest about 34 barons. Yes. In the news a few weeks ago, we heard that your agency is trying to you know, get this new fast dog, which costs nothing less than $15,000 to $20,000. I want to ask, can't it be gotten from another country at a cheaper price? And is there no other machi um, machinery? or tools you and your agency can use to achieve your aim. Oh, okay, Bye -bye. Yeah, there was a little uh, misconception during the budget defense last year. We are not buying any sniffer for drugs. Okay. It's just a mention that I made for people to be aware that okay. they cost $15,000 uh, in process. Yes. Our sniffer dogs come from Germany. The German criminal police, they have been equipping us with, with the sniffer dogs. dogs. Yeah, so we are not buying that's important uh, for my <laughs> caller to be aware. And we can't use the local and, bingos. And, we can't send them. Uh, no, unfortunately, because this, this, uh, they are trained for about 200 different, uh, you know, uh, drugs mm. and, and stuff, explosives mm. and so on. And finally, the machines are available also, and we have some. In fact, the name of the machine is called Sniffer. Oh, okay. Sniffer Dog. That's the name of the machine mm -hmm. also, which we are using. So we have the combination of these. And uh, uh, there's a dog training school being constructed by the Germans. Yeah. Yes. Ah, that's good. Uh, so you must be praying that you have uh, a drug intolerant president uh, from May next, for May this year. You must and, be doing that. And I'm sure we will get a drug intolerant, intolerant president. Yes, president. Because there's no president that will come on seat and not be seized of the issues that is destroying millions of our children and mm. the whole country and giving mm. us a bad name. Okay. Things are now moving up. We've seized 
5,700 tons in two years. Imagine if that was on the streets. For well, somebody like Sean Ore, one of the pre presidential aspirants, says that if he's voted into power, that is going to le legalize drug. Okay. So can you can you guess, you know, say something about that? You, the caller, uh, would you like it to be legalized? He's gone. Oh, okay. He's gone, yes. Uh, I would just give the message that he should then pray against any candidate <laughs> who has declared <laughs> that he's going to legalize. <laughs>